YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with a Geeks and Beauties collab. We are doing a Halloween collab. So w one of the ideas was they put out a spooky Halloween tag questions, and that is what I'm doing now. Rather than look back and forth, now that I'm thinking about it, I should just pull it up on my phone. Okay, here we go. Questions right here. So, number one, favorite horror or Halloween-themed song? Are there that many Halloween-themed songs out there? If there are, I don't know about them. Um, so I'm gonna go with the old, old school classic and just say the Monster Mash. Number two, name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building. Uh, first question, why am I in either of those? Because I am a giant wuss, so I would not be in either one of those. But I basically wouldn't want to run into anything. Ghost, monster, axe-wielding maniac, person in general. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever played with the Ouija board? Once, when I was like 10 or 11, and it cussed me out. So uh, yeah, I, I never touched one since. Favorite horror monster or villain? I don't know if I have one. I guess probably Dracula. I was really into the vampire thing when I was a kid. Still kind of like him, honestly, but uh, Twilight and just the whole vampire craze that went around a couple of years ago has kind of nipped me back a little bit, but I still like it. The creepiest thing that's ever happened to you while you were alone? I don't know if I necessarily believe in ghosts or anything like that. I've never had any kind of real supernatural experience, so... Just, you know, hearing junk outside when I shouldn't be hearing stuff when I'm alone, stuff like that. I scare really easily, and as somebody that loves horror movies, I can basically traumatize myself when I'm alone. Ha if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? No, because that's how horror movies start, and then everyone dies. Are you superstitious? Hella superstitious. Which drives my husband insane. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Now, sometimes, but I have mental disorders that might do that too. So I don't know if there's anything to that or not. Which urban legend scares you the most? Uh, any urban legends that start with person was home alone because I am home alone a fair amount because my husband works and I don't. 10. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? Uh, I do prefer thrillers to a point. Uh, I don't mind like slasher movies like Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street, stuff like that. I don't like the torture porn trend that ha that went on a few five to ten years ago now, I guess. Like I don't like the Saw movies or anything like that. So I'm okay with some gore, but there, there's a limit. Do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? I am definitely open to the possibility. Wait. Ever made a potion of any sort? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, unless you consider alcoholic drinks potions. Do you get scared easily? Um, if you cannot tell by now, yes, I am a total scaredy cat. <laughs> Which, like I said, for somebody that loves horror movies, it's kind of surprising. And maybe it's because I like horror movies that I'm able to freak myself out really easily. I don't know. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? Totally played Bloody Mary with friends and family when I was a little kid and once again we managed to mostly traumatize ourselves. <laughs> Do you believe in demons the devil or slash the devil? Uh not really. I mean not in a oh she's got a demon in her sense. Anyway that's I'm a more slightly spiritual towards organized religion type of person, honestly. But that, not getting into the whole religious thing too much. So, uh, not really, but yeah. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in the house. So what do you do? Uh, lock myself in the bathroom or call 911 <laughs> with the dogs. <laughs> Straight up, do, will not play with that shit. I don't go investigate. <laughs> If you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Hell no! Um... I don't know. <laughs> Dracula, I guess. At least that I have a shot of not being dead. I don't know. 
If you could wear only one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would dress as Loki for Halloween because it, it's expensive as hell. But if I if I bought all the stuff, I would probably wear it every year because, well, it's expensive as hell and I'm going to get my money's worth. If, all right. Would you ever go to the graveyard at night? I have in the past, actually. I've, I've mentioned this before. I was very much a goth teenager and I did go to a number of graveyards at night. Now, probably not, but back in the day, I sure did. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Another person? <laughs> Truthfully, um, probably either probably either a shotgun or if I wanted to go the non-reloadable route, maybe a machete. But uh, yep. someone else <laughs> to do the shooting for me. That that is my weapon of choice. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? Um, I'm an adult, so now I would stick to a party that had a lot of Halloween candy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like, I'm not just an adult, I'm 31. <laughs> I'm a little too old to go trick-or-treating, and I don't have any kids. And all my nieces and nephews are pretty, pretty much too old to go trick-or-treating themselves, so I don't even have that excuse anymore, which is the excuse I used as a teenager. Because I went trick-or-treating up until I was 16, I believe. No, wait, I didn't go when I was 15 either, because I went to a play that year. I went and saw Dracula, actually, that year, but, uh... Well, I, I went to, I, last year I went was my freshman year of high school and I took my nieces with me so I was their chaperone. But I sure brought my own bag, but I had a costume, so. I don't care if, you know, teenagers trick or treat, by the way, just wear a costume of some variety. It, it ain't gotta be, you know, anything fancy. It can obviously, you could straight up use a sheet and go as a ghost in my opinion, because I know not everybody can afford to go buy a costume. But uh, yeah, I really don't mind teenagers trick or treating. They're, that means they're not throwing eggs at my house. So, and I do hand out candy. So, let the teenagers go trick or treating if they want to. All right, let's see. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? Uh, the comic relief, I, I would assume, or because of mental disorders, maybe the killer. <laughs> Because horror movies are e very easily troped like that. I am probably the sidekick slash killer. Uh, do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Sometimes it depends on the horror movie. Like, I can watch things like Friday the 13th and go straight to bed. But the ones that'll mess with your head a little bit, yeah, sometimes I gotta watch something after them to calm, calm my nerves. While watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the persons with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person that falls asleep? I yell at my TV all the time, not just over horror movies, but I will yell during horror movies. My husband hates me. <laughs> he does not like to go to the movies with me because I am that asshole yelling at the screen. Which is why I like horror movies, I usually just go see by myself because then I don't have to aggravate him. And he is actually not super into horror movies and I didn't realize this for years. He finds them boring though. Like he's the one that would fall asleep more than likely. If it's stupid, he'll sit there and make fun of it with me, but it's not really his thing. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? Obviously I am the one who gets scared, but I do love to give a good scare too. Favorite scary book? Uh, I read it recently for the first time and weird ending scene that you all know what I'm talking about if you've read the book aside. Um, it's actually really good. So I like Stephen King in general. I've read most of his classics, like most of the ones that have been turned into movies. So yeah. How old were you when you saw your first horror movie? God, probably too young. Because I, I rented back when there were video rental stores, and I mean before Blockbuster even, which is showing my age a little bit. I rented out our, horror, our whole horror section, so, like by the time I was 12. So, yeah, I, I saw them early. I couldn't, I couldn't honestly tell you how old I was when I saw my first one. I had older siblings as well. So. What was your first Halloween costume? 
my grandmother made me a bunny costume one year and I had to have been like three or four and I'm sure my parents dressed me up before that but that's the first one that I can think of that I know pictures exist of. I don't have them unfortunately or I would happily show them to you because I was a cute little kid but uh yeah that's the first one that I can remember and that I know pictures exist of and like I said I was like either three or four. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Uh, I'm actually going to be Pearl from Mystery Science Theater 3000. I do plan to do a tutorial of that because Pearl is awesome. I just have to go put together my last bits of my costume before I do it. So be on the lookout for that. If, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, wolf, what would you pick? Uh, I want a black cat, actually. I, I love black cats. I've had them before. I think they're gorgeous. I think all cats are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. I just also happen to like the color black. So yeah, that, I, I would have a black cat. Also, every last one of the other ones terrifies me. I'm scared of birds. I'm obviously scared of bats and wolves and rats. So yeah, everything scares me. I really am just a terrified person constantly. So uh, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I hope I gave you a good laugh by you learning how terrified of literally everything I am. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye!